Hey, bubba boy. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm having a day. Uh, today, I'm having a day. We're playing a game this week. It's called, is it depression or is it menstruation? It's a challenging puzzle game where you try to figure out if your intrusive thoughts are a result of your brain chemistry or the shedding of your uterine wall. And the cool part is if you guess wrong, you just get to play again next month. So there's always a chance to win. I will not be making anything um, in this video, but in light of recent events, I did some retail therapy. Your girl went shopping. And before anyone comes for me, life's about priorities, right? I'm not really one personally to spend a lot of money on clothes, shoes, purses, whatever. I don't get my hair done. I don't get my nails done. But what I will do is get a chai latte and black out at Joann's. I tell my boyfriend like, hey, I'm just gonna pop over to the craft store for a sec. And he's like, oh, okay, well, see you in three hours. Sometimes I go with a list of projects in mind that I'm shopping for, but sometimes I'm going in as a free agent, baby. Just ask me to drop $50 on a brand new hobby. I, I literally dare you. This time I mostly stuck to a list. So I thought it might just be fun to show you guys what I got, do like a good old fashioned YouTube haul video, maybe talk about some project ideas that I have and then maybe if I say them out loud, I'll be more likely to follow through with them. And if you're like, hey, don't you already have a closet full of art crap that you haven't used yet? Yeah, Cheryl, I do. It, it's actually getting a little chaotic and it scares me in there. I could do a whole video just organizing my art closet, but that's we'll save that for another day. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, this bag is all from Joann's. I also have some additional Amazon purchases to share because I got home with this bag of stuff and was like, hey, you know what? That was fun. Why don't we keep these good vibes going? Okay, let's get into it. Well, this is slightly alarming. Don't ever buy anything at these big craft retailers without a coupon. All of these stores have daily coupons and they'll also honor each other's coupons. So if Michael's is running like a 20% off your purchase day, Joann's will match it. Never pay full price, that's what I say. Okay, starting off strong, I got some new polymer clay. Here's the thing, I want to make a doll like from scratch, the head, hair, body, clothes, everything. Why? Uh. Some people make dolls alone in their apartment on a Saturday night. And some people have friends. So I got this absolute brick of flesh tone clay. This is super sculpy, soft and semi-translucent, just like me. Perfect for detail sculpting. Okay, well, we'll see about that. Additional items in the doll category. I got some wire. This is 12 gauge wire for the body so I can move her little arms around. Potentially. I got a couple squares of this plain cotton fabric for her body. And then here's another fun Joanne hat. No. Do not steal this. There is a section by the fabric cutting station where they keep remnants of fabric that they couldn't sell, but it's like not enough to have out on the normal floor. And all these swatches are normally 50% off. So you can get an assortment of like small amounts of fabric for just a few bucks. Um, excuse me, please don't steal. And there's always a random assortment of stuff, so it can be fun to dig through and see what you can find. Let's see, first up I got this um, sage green colored cotton fabric. It was priced at $5.40, so I, I've only paid, you know, two fifty, three three bucks for this. This one is a textured satin fabric in this dark plum purple that's really pretty. This one again, only paid like two fifty for. Then I got this fall houndstooth cotton flannel fabric. I really love the colors and the print of this one. This one was only like two bucks. Let's see, this is a brown polyester fabric called potting soil brown, lovely. This one, three bucks, so I only paid like a dollar fifty for it. And then this last one is a kind of a stretchy black fabric. Excuse me, Um, please don't steal. This one was the most expensive, $8, so I paid four bucks for this. I picked all these out for potential doll outfits, clothing, or whatever else I want. I also picked up some rubber cement. Ooh, I'm so excited to use this. This is what I used to use on my science projects in like elementary school, which I'll know about the regional science fair. The science part I was kind of lukewarm on, but the decorating of that trifold board with this, game over. Okay, I also got a few new paints. This one is a matte black chalk paint, which I thought was just for making chalkboards, 
but there's a photo of a dresser on the sticker, which has me intrigued. I have a thrift store makeover type of item that I wanna use this on. This is my one replacement item of the trip. I actually was running low on this color of acrylic paint, this kind of burnt orange sienna colored. This one's called Autumn Leaves by Folk Art. And then I saw this product by Deco Art. It's advertised as a suede paint. It says it's a lightly textured acrylic, but textured with what? I need to find out. I got the colors suede and olive. Olive looks like it uh, fully exploded in the bag. That, that, that's great. Next up, I got some felt. I guess this is technically a repurchase too. I will randomly use felt from time to time in my projects. So it's nice to just kind of have an assortment of colors on hand for when I want it. You can make patches, pins, ornaments, uh, little figurines to turn into garland. There's a lot of possibilities with this. Next up, I got these two wood pieces from the woodworking aisle. This one's actually a slice of a tree trunk or a branch. It's still got the bark on it and all this nice texture on the inside. I don't know what I would put on this yet, but I just thought it would look so pretty, like hanging on the wall with something painted on it. I don't typically feel inspired to paint on paper or like a blank canvas, but something like this, makes me feel something. And then this other one is just a small wooden plaque. I'm pretty sure this was only like $2. And this I was imagining hanging on like a gallery wall type of spread, maybe with some kind of like 3D sculptural item coming out of it. Do you see the vision? Okay, and then the last thing in this bag is this set of glass bottles, question mark? What did I buy this for? Oh, okay, so I bought this whole set just for one of these little containers, this one in particular. I didn't realize that dogs lost all their puppy teeth until Odin's teeth were all falling out. And I was like, huh, I guess that makes sense. So I saved all his little puppy teeth that I could find and I wanted to keep them in some kind of little glass vial like this, uh, maybe with a little label on it on my shelf, like a little, potion bottle ingredient, or I might hang it on my Christmas tree. I'm not sure yet. Now I also have another eight bottles for something. Okay, moving on to Amazon purchases. Okay, this is moss, like peel and stick moss in a sticker sheet format. I don't fully remember what I bought this for. This is my problem. I, I have too many ideas for stuff that I wanna make. So I'm just constantly buying new things because I like to keep it fresh. I like to have things to choose from when I'm feeling artsy. This, I, I do like moss, so I think I'll use it eventually. Next up. Ooh, ooh, okay, I'm excited about this one. I keep seeing people on TikTok and Instagram painting with gouache paint. Gouache is one of those words that I read very differently in my head, and, and I need to really think about it before I say it out loud, i.e. epitome, epitome, hyperbole, hyperbole, conscience, conscience, kernel, that's colonel, gouache. This is gouchy. I have never used this kind of paint before. It's supposed to fall somewhere on the spectrum between acrylic and watercolor. This one came in a cute little case. It has a mixing tray. Oh, it came with it came with some brushes too. And then the paint all comes in these individual packages that you peel off. Uh, I'm not gonna peel them off right now, but I, I'm very excited to use this. The brushes have a little dapper, a little bird gentleman. Love that. Let's see, okay. This item was a purely targeted Amazon ad. It's a device that's supposed to round the edges of your paper. Hold on, let me grab some paper. Um, hello? Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that, it worked. Okay, that's fun. I guess. I don't know. I make handwritten little thank you cards for orders in my Etsy shop. So now those cards will have rounded edges. Wow. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's only one item left. Yes. Okay. This item was also from a very targeted Instagram ad that I fell for. This is supposed to be a rubber stamp making kit. I see these videos constantly too, of people carving their own stamps out of rubber and then rolling the ink on. It looks so satisfying. I really wanna try it. This kit came with five rubber stamp blocks and some little carving tools. How long do you think this is gonna sit in my art closet before I get around to it? 
mm, guess higher. All right, that is everything I got. Hopefully it will tide me over for a while, give me some projects to work on. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you want to see me use some of this stuff in this video, you can subscribe to this channel. If you like art, if you like wiener dogs, if you like the sad banter of a 30 year old woman alone on the floor, we have it all here, folks. Uh, okay, see you next time, bye.